up, everybody? So, Lori and I. Hey, Lori. Hello. Lori and I today are up. Where are we? Round Mountain? Round Mountain. Our plan was to go to Devil's Backbone, which is up in Loveland, Colorado, which is that way, I think. Um, so, we showed up, drove the 20, 25 minutes to get there, showed up, and the trailhead, uh, the parking lot, and then the trails were closed. We don't know why. So, we we're looking for something that was close by, still a trail. So, we found this thing on the Trail Run Project map. I'll put a link to the Trail Run Project uh, right here. And so, we found this guy and was like eight miles round trip, give or take, maybe nine miles. And we get here and we look at the thing and it says, what? Six to eight hours. Six to eight hours. Of course, that's hiking, but it's six to eight hours and like 3,000 feet or something of climbing. So, the, we're like a quarter mile in, no joke. And we're both like, <laughs> Oh, so we're gonna go as much as we can. Here's some of the view that we're looking at. It's really quite cool so far. I mean, you can see these giant rocks over here and the big mountains and all this stuff. So this is the Big Thompson Canyon down here. That's the Big Thompson River. Uh, so we will see how far we make. Our plan is to just head up for an hour and then flip it and bring it back down. So we'll talk to you along the way. less than two miles up the trail um, this is brutal honestly it's not very much fun because both of us want to run and uh, this isn't very runnable we're kind of doing what we can there are some level to not brutally steep spots uh, this is not one of them and on those spots we're trying to run what we can so good times on the other hand if we get to where we want to and can manage to not die, we get to run on the way down, which we're, we could also die doing that. So here's hoping death isn't on the menu for today. Mile two, baby. And you can also see this is a cool little image where you can see how flat it is once you get past the front range here. It's all flat down to the Mississippi River. seem to have hit the snow line somewhere just a second ago and it's all snowy yet we're both in shorts and a shirt <laughs> you can do it also I just stepped off the trail to try to get a picture of this cool log right here that you're gonna see in a second and I seem to have stepped into some snow good job me This whole entire time, Lori and I have been commiserating about how hard this trail is to go up. You don't get to run much, but they have seen fit to put a neat little feature on this trail, and that is a rock toilet, which you <laughs> see right here. Just kidding, it's just a cool rock formation, in case you thought I was being serious. Probably not. I'll take that one. We just made it to where we're flipping around the actual summit. I don't know if you can see it, it's way up there, probably easily another 500 feet, I would say, maybe, does it look like 500 feet to you? Give or take. We're going to say 500 feet because it makes me feel better. Um, so we've come an hour up, uh, probably will not be that long on the way down, unless one of us breaks an ankle has to carry the other one out, probably going to be me. You ready to carry me out? I'm going to fall. <laughs> so again, 
really pretty view up here. You can see there, there are some really cool outcroppings, a couple of which I'll try to show you on the way down that uh, I will probably not be looking at because I'll be looking where I'm running so as to not fall. The sun has come out and we have a nice view here. Look at that. Wow. Lori thinks that this rock right here is just gonna fall. I think it's solid. I think we're good. <laughs> Even on the way down, we have to go up. This is why this trail is not fun. No. today I am wearing the Raven Boost from Adidas you can see right there you've seen it in a couple videos before good stuff uh, this review should be coming out very soon I don't know the name of the shirt but it's by Saucony it's got a super open mesh back which I'm liking and that jacket I was wearing a second ago is called the speed of light I think jacket from Saucony also um, Lori got anything you want to talk about <laughs> Just how awesome these shoes are still yeah Lori's wearing the Saucony Peregrine 6 and uh, yeah, so we're headed down. I'm not as matching Richie. <laughs> she did not color coordinate. <laughs> <sighs> your yeah. shoes and your shirt match though. Oh, cool. That works out. It was not planned. No. <laughs> Almost done. Almost down. Pretty not, not bad run. Better on the way down, that's for sure. So we are done back at the car, heading back. What did you think of that run? I loved it. Yeah. It was hard, but... It's, it's fun on the way back down. down is it's fun. A uh, little technical, definitely steep. Uh, I don't know how much I'll come back because I don't feel like I can really, it's time on your feet, but it's not the mileage that I would want. So uh, anyway, check us out on all the social medias that you can see right here, my right, your left. And if you're interested in any of the gear that you've seen in this episode of Gears Dailies, definitely check the buy links down in the description. Those help support Gears. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time.